last night, didn't sleep at all. I feel horrible. My first night alone without my partner Haley here with me. Missing the body heat was rough. So I need to go get some really dry, fluffy oak leaves to insulate my shelter with. The kind of material I'm looking for. My plan is to stuff the entire thing like a burrito. No air spaces. All those leaves surrounding my body are going to give me the best insulation I could hope for out here. That is what makes the difference. Might not be comfortable, but you will survive. Oh, that's much better. It's starting to warm up in here. My shelter was quite a bit better than last night. It's very efficient, especially once it's stuffed with leaves. I think my girlfriend Sarah would be really proud of me for this badass shelter, staying positive, thinking things through logically. Uh, oh man, now I miss home. On my big toe, I've got a huge crack in the skin from all this dry weather and not having any shoes on, and that can be a big problem later on. At this elevation, the mountain air is colder and drier, making skin more susceptible to cracking and infection. I'm going to use the sap from conifer trees to clean up my wound. The sap, which is not only antibacterial, but it's also very tacky. So it helps the wound stay sealed, and it also prevents things like dust or grit from really getting into the wound. If you don't have your feet, you can't survive, especially alone. So now I can focus on food. Acorns are the majority of what my diet's consisted of since coming out here. Ooh but I definitely need to supplement with something better. Worms. Fry them up, have a nice little snack before nap time. Mmm, just like mommy used to make. Oh, it's like a potato chip. Mmm. The cut on my toe keeps opening, so I really need to make some sandals if I want to make good progress out here. To make those sandals, I'm going to need a couple willow rods, about six foot each, and I will need some cordage. And away we go. Snake. It is not a rattlesnake. <sighs> Hell yeah. That is protein on the table. Oh, look at that. I'm imagining this is a rat snake. Rat snakes are constrictors, coiling around their prey to subdue them. Some do have small traces of venom, but are not harmful to humans. Ha ha! Mm. So I'm excited for this. Snake for dinner tonight. I'm so stoked about this. And you know what the best part about snakes is? It tastes just like chicken. I feel like this snake could not have come at a more perfect time for me. Every bit of protein and fat carved out of this landscape is going to give me that much more advantage to making it 21 days. <laughs> <laughs>